My name is Adriana, and this is Many Roads, No Rules. I, today is the first day of the Lola Palooza. I will keep you posted about everything that happens here. I am enjoying the sun. It was raining for two straight days, and uh, we are going to have fun. On the way here, I visited a couple of places that I always wanted to see. Mostly one of them, the city underneath Kansas City. I always knew about them. I always wanted to go there. Today, I am taking you there. Uh, that was on the way here. And I did a couple of other things. I will tell you more in this video. And then I will keep, I will update you about the Lola Balusa, of course. So, have a great day, enjoy this video, talk soon. Their names are faded, but some people still bring flowers to them. I think these two were, uh, yes, James Houston and his wife Nancy. Oh. Their six children are buried here also. But I am trying to find the tombs of the first two people that were buried here. Two siblings that died on their way to the west. But they were passing by and they died somewhere here and they were buried in the middle of the road.
everyone, my name is Captain Andy. Happy to have you on board today. We'll find out. I do have a couple of rules before we get too far away from the dock. The first one is stay seated. <laughs> no standing. You stand, there's a very good chance you'll find yourself in the canal. I'll probably push you in. <laughs> if you do find yourself in the water, don't panic, don't freak out, just stand up. It's only about four feet deep. So the mosaic here uh, is sponsored by Devon Energy Company. That is the Devon Tower above it. And it was created by students from Oklahoma City Community College. And on the left is their world headquarters. Up on the top floor is where they make all the executive decisions, like how many tater tots go into a large container. Anybody know? Not enough. <laughs> now they busted that 2 million acres up into plots of 160 acres each, and they put white flags in the center. They told the settlers, come on out, get some of this land. It's free! They gave this land away. 160 acres per person. But, you had to have it filed in your name, and that cost $14. So, and that was just temporary. They had to improve on the land within five years. Then it would be theirs permanent. So April 22nd, 1889, at high noon, cannons fired off, signaling the start, and over 50,000 people rushed in trying to get a piece of land. The man on the wagon is Paul Moore. And Paul is the artist who created all 45 statues, 364 feet of them. All right, here on the opposite side, this last horse that just crossed over, that lady sitting side saddle is Paul's mother. And right in front of her, that wagon is called a gig, G-I-G. It's typically driven by doctors. So he's our land run doctor. I try not to pay any attention to this guy right here in the little cart. His face is in such a dangerous place. <laughs> and of course we have our front runners here. They're racing, trying to get a piece of that land. He's got his flag in the air already so that he can jump off his horse and claim some of that land. But what these guys don't know, there's already people out here on the land claiming it. They were the Moonlighters, and here's one right in front of us. The Moonlighters were sneaking in in the middle of the night, only the light of the moon to guide them. That's how they got their name. And when they heard the cannons fire off at noon, they got on their horses, and they started riding them around in circles real fast. They wanted to be able to look just like the rest of the settlers. They wanted to have dirt all over them and for their horses to be tired and sweaty. And then they waited. See, he's already got his flag in his hand. As the settlers get closer, he's going to lean over and put it in the ground and steal the land. And of course, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we talk about being a nomad and the possibilities that that gives you. So I would love to have you in the community. Please write comments. I always respond to them. Thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful day. Take care.